Mr. Chairman, let's uh, stay with Iran, General Carrillo. Um, it, you can tell us in a non-classified setting, can't you, whether the threat uh, from uh, Iran has, has grown stronger uh, or lesser in uh, the past two years? Um, Iran's malign behavior has increased in the last two years, Senator. Okay. And uh, what do you need from the uh, Congress of the United States to meet this threat? So as we look at the threat mainly that we face is the ballistic missile and their UAV threat in the region, one of the ways that we are countering that is through regional um, uh, agreements and a, a regional architecture. As we go towards an integrated air and missile defense in the region, we are making progress on that. Um, so what we need is the continued resourcing, and I want to make sure that I have a sufficient and sustainable um, posture in, in CENTCOM so that I can accomplish the missions I have been given um, to make sure I can mitigate the risk. If there's one area in the world, I believe, that can derail the national defense strategy, it is, the, it is the, currently the CENTCOM AOR. So the resources to uh, help you facilitate these agreements? It, it is the resources, Senator. Okay. Uh, well, um, uh, help us be specific about that. Now, um, after the disastrous um, Afghan um, withdrawal, uh, the department uh, assured this committee that countering terrorist groups would still be possible over the horizon. We've only done that once. Is that correct? It is, Senator, we actually all kinetic, all finishes in the methodology of find, fix, and finish on counterterrorism targets are not kinetic. There is two that are non-kinetic that we disrupted, and I'll talk about that in a, class, a classified study that involved over five combatant commanders to disrupt those finishes. Um, okay, so two non-kinetic and one kinetic. Do you Correct. Think, do you think we should be doing more of those? Um, it is difficult right now, as I said in my confirmation hearing. It is uh, difficult but not impossible. Uh, one of the things that we are trying to do is increase our intelligence surveillance reconnaissance over that with putting investment into long duration, high altitude, um, alternative airborne ISR that can go up for days and weeks because right now I'm spending 80% of my time transiting um, to the region to be able to collect over the top. Okay. Uh, General Langley, um, tell us what China is doing. How far along are they on their base in Djibouti? And where do you think they might uh, likely be making their uh, strongest effort for a military base in West Africa? Thank you, Senator, for that question. Uh, China's aspirations, uh, especially at Dorle, uh, they're, they're, they're coming across a thinly veiled front that is all for goodwill. But we know that uh, they're establishing, especially with the destroyer that visited uh, uh, Dorle last uh, March, shows that they have in indications that... Tell us, tell us where that is. Uh, Dorle is in Djibouti. Okay. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, so, ranking member, uh, their aspirations are pretty clear. Uh, that's a strategic uh, line of communication, especially as it embarks up upon uh, the Suez Canal and the Bob Mandeb if they wanted to fully militarize that. Uh, Dorle is of concern. They're saying it's all about goodwill, uh, but uh, I think uh, the other. Um, they do have other aspirations, and in closed session, uh, uh, ranking member, I know that uh, I can be able to lay that out, where, on, uh, where in West Africa is their next military base aspiration. Okay, but tell us then, if you can, I think, and I think you can, uh, how that would affect our security um, a, as Americans, and particularly in North America, if the Chinese are able to establish a base in West Africa, uh, it would uh, it would put us, it would change the whole calculus of the geostrategic uh, um, uh, global campaign plans of protecting the homeland. Uh, it would shorten their if they they build any uh, capacity on the West Coast uh, geostrategically, it will put them at an advantage. Right now, we have the decisive advantage. They cannot, uh, we can't let them have a base on the West Coast because it would change the dynamics. Thank you. Thank you, Mr.